Okay, quick one today. I'm going to show uh, show you guys how to top up an air conditioner that's not quite working right in just about any vehicle. Okay, the wife says her 2008 F-150 here is not blowing as cold as it should in the air conditioning, so I'm just going to go ahead and fire it up, and we'll we'll see what we're up against. I know I still have to fix this instrument cluster too. It's got some bad solder joints in there that that brake light stays on, but there's nothing wrong. It's actually just cracked solder joints in there. Uh, that's actually screwing with the uh, interior lights too. But anyway, that's besides the fact. We don't care about that today. We're gonna go ahead and just go to AC. We're gonna put it on the vents and not recirc. So we get a decent idea. And what I'm gonna do is just let this cool down and then we'll go ahead and take some temperature readings. I wish I had my probe style thermometer, but we've got a infrared one here that'll do the trick. Looks like we're about 33C. It's hot in here. It's a very hot day. So we're just going to let this cool off and uh, we'll see what we get down to. Okay, well that cools down. Uh, I know what we're going to need roughly, so we'll go ahead and get some, some goodies out. We're going to need one of these. Now, which one's the good one? This is a refill system you can buy at pretty much any hardware store nowadays uh, for our 134A or old R12 systems even, depending on what, uh, what fittings you have. But we're dealing with a, a vehicle that had 134A in it, and this is our nozzles here. Oh, get the autofocus to work. Wonderful. So this is the new one. Nothing to it. Goes onto a refrigerant can. We can see our pressures here. Uh, basically, just stay out of the red. There's nothing to it. And we're going to need some refrigerant. Um, there we go. This is what we need. This is just from my local car quest. Ultra cool. They get lots of different names. I used to use this stuff, Red Tech. It's a 12A refrigerant with dye. It's basically uh, non-ozone depleting, and anybody can buy it off the shelf. And you buy one of these, buy them at the end of the season, and then you'll save yourself a bunch of money. My TSC has them on clearance right now for under 20 bucks. So, pretty cool. Okay, back at the truck. Go ahead and get a temperature reading. We're down in the... 22 23 range thereabouts so that gives us a baseline we know what we're up against that's uh like that's much cooler than what it, the ambient in here but that's by no means cold that's above room temperature so we'll go ahead let's pop the hood let's see what we can do uh. okie dokie This is underneath of our F-150, very dirty. Welcome to Southwestern Ontario. Okay, what you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for the AC lines. They will stick out because they'll be uh, generally aluminum and they'll have these nifty fittings on top. We want this one. They're, they're size uh, dependent, like you can't go in the wrong one with these filling rigs. Uh, if you did, that would be undesirable. We want this one back here. We're going to leave, this is just a needle that punctures the top of the can. We'll leave that turned all the way out so it's back seated. We'll turn our can on. It's not going to do anything because the needle hasn't punctured it yet. And then we're going to go ahead and put our quick connect on the AC line. With the quick connect on, we should get a pressure reading. And we do. That's actually not that bad. We can take it up quite a bit from there though. See it there, now the compressor's on and see how it draws right down? And it's gonna draw right down until the compressor kicks off again because the pressure's too low in the system. What we're gonna go and do, so we're gonna turn our can upside down. We're gonna puncture it with this needle. So we'll turn it all the way in and then back out and we're gonna start filling the system.
So there we go. She's drawn in now. You see the pressure spiked there momentarily. We're sucking in. We should feel that can getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And our compressor is on solid now. We're not hitting the low pressure cutout or high pressure depending on what side of the, the AC system you're talking about. But the compressor is able to run solid because we are full. We're right in the blue zone. Yeah, it really depends on the vehicle, but it's a good indication. Could actually t use a touch more. That can is now empty. And we're done. Pull that off. Just a little bit came out. And we're done. Now we can recycle our can and put our gauge away till next service. And we'll see how we did. Okay, I haven't even given it more than a few moments, but we should have a, a significantly different temperature here. Now we're down into the, yeah, this is why I don't like a infrared thermometer. It's kind of lousy for this. We should be down into the 18 range. We're down to 21. Yeah, I didn't give it enough time. And this is a lot of heat load. This is just sitting here. This is a, uh, whoo, what are we at? 85% humidity or so today and hot. So that should do the trick. Yeah, 16, 17. Let's see if we can just shoot down the back. 15 if you just shoot down the back side, 14. So, yeah, we're coming down still. Now that it's full and the compressor's got a lot of runtime on it, the whole system's gonna come down, down to 11. If you put too much in, you can freeze over the evaporator core uh, or blow off the relief valve. So stick with matching what's on the gauge. But yeah, we're down to 10 Celsius. That's cold, very, very cold. It's just that simple. Grab yourself one of these, top it up yourself, nothing to it. If it's dead nuts empty, well, you might have to deal with a leak, but this thing's about uh, uh, $13 Canadian right now for a pound of it. Uh, regular price, and you can get it down under 10 bucks, depending on where you buy it. But there we go. We're down to the nitty gritty now. So just that simple. Go ahead and fix your vehicle. Not much to it. Anybody can do this. If you like what I do here, go ahead and consider clicking a thumbs up on this or support me on Patreon. I'll see you next video. Cheers, guys.